Hey booktube, welcome back. I'm Winx and the ink I'm talking about today is my Friday reads in which I tell you what I'm currently reading and what I plan to read throughout the next week. So earlier this week I did finally get to read Nimona which has been on my Friday reads for a few weeks running now. Um, I started it and I finished it on Monday evening. It was, um, I mean it's a graphic novel so it goes pretty fast anyway but definitely just one that I could not put down until I finished it. It was so good, so cute, um, the artwork is fantastic and yeah highly recommend. After I finished that one, I started in on In the Labyrinth of Drakes by Marie Brennan, and this is the fourth book in the Memoirs of Lady Trent series, of which I am a big fan, and so far this book is definitely holding up to the rest of the series. I only have about 50 pages left in this one, so I'm sure I will finish it later today, and I'm very excited to see how all of the draconic goodness wraps up. And once I finish that one, I will only have three books left on my April TBR, which I originally was highly doubtful that I would actually finish all the books in my TBR during the month, um, but there is a slight glimmer of hope shining through the clouds because tomorrow, Saturday, is Dewey's 24-hour readathon. I originally wasn't planning to participate in this one, but seeing all the videos and posts about genre-thon and author-thon just got me really wanting to participate in a readathon, so this one seemed like a good one to do. And um, yeah, it's only 24 hours. It's not a midnight to midnight thing. The start time actually depends on your time zone, and I believe for the west coast it's like 5 a.m., but I will have to double check that. In any case, the idea is just to see how much you can read over a 24-hour period. I do have one obligation to go to um, later on on Saturday. Saturday, so that will take up a few hours of my time, but there's a chance I might be able to read a bit while I'm there, so um, might not be too bad. But besides that, I am all in for this readathon, and my hope is that it will give me the extra boost I need to get through all the books. Since it's only 24 hours, I'm going to start with the shorter of the books and read Departure from the Script, which is only about 250 pages, I think. It's definitely less than 300. I don't remember the exact page count, but um, pretty short. So this one should be a pretty fast read, and I'm sure I will finish that one. Then the second shortest book on my list is The Void by J.D. Horn, and this is the third book in the Witching Savannah series, which I've been reading over the past few months. This book is just at 300 pages, so not that much longer than the other book. I don't know that I'll be able to finish both books over the readathon, especially since I have to go out for a little bit, but my hope is to at least get a pretty good chunk of this book read on Saturday, and then hopefully I can finish it up on Sunday and have both books finished over the weekend. And that will leave me with the final book on my April TBR list to read throughout the next week, and that is The Dragon's Blade by Michael R. Miller. This book sounds super fun, it involves fairies and dragons, which obviously I'm a fan of. So yeah, I am very excited to read that one and I will have all of next week hopefully to read it. So I should actually be able to finish everything on my list. So yeah, this weekend is shaping up to be pretty bookish for me. Um, not that that's terribly unusual, but a little extra bookish at least. Saturday will be the readathon. Sunday I'm hoping to do some filming. I'm also thinking about starting my blog back up, which um, I used to blog for I don't know, a couple of months. It didn't last very long. Um, and it was predominantly bookish in nature, but it was before I was involved with booktube and bookstagram and all of the awesome online book communities that exist now. So um, a lot of it just felt like I was sort of typing my thoughts out into the ether and sometimes my mom would read it and that was about it. So um, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe starting that back up because I've been wanting to do more writing recently and it seems like a good way to make that into a regular habit. I'll go ahead and start adding links to the blog and my little social media blurb in the description box and you can go check it out if you would like. Let me know in the comments what you guys are up to this weekend, what you're reading, are you doing the readathon? If you've done the readathon before, do you have any good tips? I would love to hear them. And yeah, I definitely like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I hope everybody had a good week. Good luck to everyone participating in the readathon tomorrow, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!